seen the blue iris. Everybody has seen yes. those. They have me see them in yeah, the garden or in, in the garden, in the things. You also mm -hmm. might have seen the white, but have you mm -hmm. ever seen this purple or no. red that we're calling? This color is spectacular. Um, this is something that is going to make your your neighbors just freak out and say, "Where did you get this?" And you're going to say, "I got it on my QVC from Brax." But this is what something that this this is the difference that you can make in your garden and really become a little bragger when you think about yeah. that for gardening. And that's what we like to do. We like to talk to our neighbors and we like to trade stories. And you maybe you, after a year or two, you can actually divide this up and pass it on to your neighbor as well too. That's what's yeah, great you're about being a really good neighbor, Absolutely. Sam. Absolutely, it's what, right? what perennials you can do too. Yeah. You can actually yeah. share plants and you can actually get maybe some plants uh -huh. that they like in your garden. I like the way you think. <laughs> All right, so here, this is new today. Three piece Japanese iris with the mammoth bulbs. Brand new, free shipping and handling. They're $44.96. If, if you would like the three easy pays, please use your cue card. They are deer and rabbit resistant, yep. and you will get one in the, the this purple color we're calling red. Mm -hmm. It just is amazing, the color. Mm -hmm. You're getting the, the more blue. traditional blue, mm -hmm. and then you're getting the very beautiful white. White. I'm sort of almost, if you stretch it a little bit, the red, white, and blue. And Correct. red, white, and blue is a little hard sometimes to achieve color-wise. Correct. The, the red, the red though, is a little bit more. Purple. Have a little bit of lavender yeah, more like to a it. Plum so it, red. Yeah, absolutely. So, but it is okay. what is called a red. The great thing about iris too yes. is if you have a garden or a, or an area in your garden that might stay a little wet. Yes. Or or you I have do. a pond. Um, mm -hmm. You can actually plant these. They like to be planted and will survive in with wet feet, we call it, when mm -hmm. they're in the ground with a wet soil. We talked a lot about drained soil. This is right. a plant that if you don't have a well-drained area, you can plant these in and actually they will be successful for you. So stop right there, think in your mind, <laughs> where do you have in your backyard, your front yard, right. some, you know, less than ideal soil. Is that a Correct. fair way to say it? Absolutely. Um, how about light? Light, they love full sun. Absolutely okay. full sun. You're going to get the most bang out of these by planting them in full sun, um, and uh, I would recommend all full sun. They can stand withstand a nice dry and um, uh, well drained soil as well too. So don't think that you have okay. to plant these in wet in water. Just okay. giving you the option. If you do have an area, this is what can make a success. And again, that's what Brex is about. We want to make you successful as a gardener. We want you to be really have fun with gardens. So we're trying to give you some plants that will work for a lot of different areas in your Show garden. Showstopper. Yes. Really. All right. So let's take a look at what we're going to send everybody. You're getting three pieces. You are more than welcome to buy more than one of these. And then this is what you get. So this is the industry standard. This is the bare root that you see that you get in the garden center. And why is that the industry standard? Because the industry, the industry let them develop for one year. Absolutely. They don't take the time or the effort to actually the money. nurture, or the money, yeah. right, to nurture these plants for an mm -hmm. entire year to give you this. Oh my gosh. So when you look at this difference, I mean, look <laughs> at the difference that you have here of these plants that, and these bare roots that you're going to get. And you already can see the plants already starting to come up in these eyes. And you look at them, one, two, three, four, wow. five. Like there's something must be 20 on here. So you're going to get those stalks coming up out of the plant that is a two-year plant. This is something we're giving you the head start. Again, we're paying for the gardeners mm -hmm. to take care of them for an entire year. Love you it. don't have to, and we're giving mm -hmm. you that head start in the garden as you go. So you'll have more success. Take a look. What are we looking at here? So this is a, a, a ruffled um, uh, sort of part of the blue that what it looks like when it comes out. Um, and, and then it's just a, a, a number of variegated, when we talk variegation, it's sort of a different mix of, of colors within okay. the flower. Sort of that color play Absolutely. within. And then you have a blue that's coming up. So you can see the blue, oh, um, blue, blue on the outside and it has that little bit of white yellow tongue that goes onto the inside of the iris as well. Um, it really sort of is a spectacular color when you see that on the screen. And, and am we'll I right to, to say life. rabbit and deer resistant? Um, yeah, more or less, yeah. yes, more absolutely. Or less. Yep. I mean, I will say this, yep. if a deer is hungry, they pretty much, I've seen well, yeah. it. My neighborhood right. will eat anything. Absolutely. I mean, in one year, I caught them eating and looking at me like, hi, thanks. Right. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but then I figured out a trick and it had to do with um, soap in a uh, netting. And, oh, that, and that worked the, the next year. The smell actually keeps yeah. them away. Yeah, or, absolutely. Or they just had some, they were eating at someone else's yard that yeah, year. Well, so. that's okay, right? Uh, as long yeah. as it's not your garden, right? <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Um, so again, remember you're getting three. You're getting a growing guide with this. This is new. We did not bring that many in, and we will not, because I was working with the garden team, who's so fabulous, and Jenny and, and company said, you know, we're not going to do that many irises, Pat, so make sure everybody knows that this is your chance to get it. Um, and we have a 
limited number of these. This is your best selection this time of the year. So now's the time you want to go ahead and make sure that you're planning your garden. Um, you have been talking about iris. This ahead, color please. is so unique for yes. me. I, I just love this color mm -hmm. for the iris, and we call it that red. But it's so unique. It's going to again be one of those things that you can brag with your with right. your neighbors because they're not going to have this. This is not something Container, that they're going to have. Ground you, you, more on the ground. I like it more okay. on the ground. I like it more in a wet location. You can do it in a container, um, mm -hmm. and 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 they'll grow just like we have them in the containers here. I like them better in the garden because I think I like them to spread out a little bit. And again, it gives you that middle level. We talk about the three levels of the okay. garden as tall. That's your this mid. is more of a mid-level garden okay. plant as well too. So buy as many of these as you want. Just know you're not going to see that many iris throughout the garden season. So just warning you in advance. All right, so let's not waste any time. <clears throat> and by the way, I am, thanks to Sam, who